what is up you guys it's your boy b scott back with another video and today i finally hit the gym again it's been a minute and hopefully i don't get monetized because of this music but uh it's been a minute i uh, finally found a gym that i like uh, it's called movement so you got the rock climbing over here and then you got the regular gym right here and then they also got like yoga next door and things like that but anywho wanted to get this video started for the day uh feeling good back at it uh got my I'm gonna show you all my workout outfit. Don't laugh at me though. So I got my tights on today. Got my little shorty shorts. Yeah, you know I mean. But yeah, any in here getting it on. Uh, I'm about to kind of like. I can, definitely got to put some music behind this. But um, about to get leg day cracking right now, and I'll catch you guys in a bit after I leave the gym. All right. Make sure I don't hit nothing. Yo, what's going on gang? So I'm back. Uh, yesterday after I left the gym, I went home, did a little work, and then went to go help, um, went to go help a special somebody, uh, take care of some business, our family, help some family members out. So didn't film the rest of the day, yeah, cause when I got home, it was late and then just went to bed. Oh, this person about to run over the curb. Oh no, they saw it, okay, okay. Um, yeah, then when I got home, it was late. So I was just like, yeah, it's time for bed. Um, but right now, just left the gym again, back in the gym strong, feeling good. Uh, about to head back to the pad right now. I got a viewing at, I believe, one o'clock um, for the upstairs unit. And yesterday was some good, had some good, uh, had some pretty cool, cool things happen. I spoke with a, another person that works within the city, uh, one of the city neighborhoods, kind of like, kind of like uh, areas and just getting some more information on different grants and uh, what's going on in the city as far as like development wise. So uh, that was like a really, really good um, point of the day yesterday. And um, hopefully that league just keeps on continuing to uh, basically uh, um, uh, blossom, you know, and become into reality where it's like, uh, there's a storefront that is, that's going up for sale soon. Um, Kind of a crazy story so a contractor was doing some work for somebody they didn't pay the contractor the contractor sued them and he won the whole building which is crazy as hell like i've you know i've seen i've heard of like the contractors putting mechanical liens on people's houses you know where like if a person doesn't pay the contractor the ca a contractor can literally put a lien on the house and um up until they either win in court or the person tries to sell the house uh, the contractor is the one that gets paid first, even before the even before the banks who actually hold the loan. So I've heard of that, but I've never heard of somebody just winning the whole building, which I'm guessing the person just gave up at the end of it, or the courts just decided that, you know, however much money they owed him, it was worth the whole building. So, but he doesn't want it. So it's like, okay, well, shit, I mean, I can come in and grab it. And uh, I believe it's mixed use, which would be really dope if it is, but it's around 10,000 square feet too, so. Anywho, that went on yesterday. Um, today, I was also going also to put together uh, some more content, like just putting together some more content to put it out there, sharing with you guys um, uh, just everything I know about what, I, what I'm doing so far, thus far, like in the STR game, the real estate game, the construction and uh, design, and, design, and world, design and build world, uh, just putting more content out like that. I decided that I'm just going to start putting content out there like that, just sharing sharing my knowledge of what I know. Um, I think I gotta get a U-turn because I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, we're gonna hit a UE right here. And we're gonna go back up the other way. Still learning the city a little bit. Everything kind of looks the same sometimes when you go to different neighborhoods. But yeah, I'm gonna put, put uh, when I get back to the pad, put together some more content like that, put it up on my IG, uh, put it up on my YouTube page, um, or this page, <laughs> this page, do it in, uh, do it in the shorts. Um, it's kind of crazy because my shorts be getting a lot more views than my like regular, uh, my regular uh, videos. Um, and I was just reading up on that. I guess like a lot of people's shorts get a lot more views than the regular videos. Cause like, as we keep on progressing and progressing in like just social media in general, people's attention spans get shorter and shorter. So that's the reason why. So I was like, man, I should start making a lot more shorts and just posting those up as well. You know, in between when I'm making my, my, my long videos like this. So. Um, anywho guys, I'm about to try to figure out how to get back home 
uh, and not drive around like a, like a madman. And uh, I'll hit you guys when I get back to the pad. All right. Anyway, what is up guys? So I am back and a special somebody took me to this really, really dope place. Um, what's the name of this place? Again? Second Chance. It's called Second Chance. And so here in Baltimore, like, y'all know when I show y'all like, you know, driving around and stuff like that. Like a lot of the city is old school and a lot of the, the homes are like, kind of like kept in their original um, design, which I really love. So if, if you have a, like a Victorian or a Tudor style home or any one of the homes out here, this is the place for you to come because literally they have everything that's original for some of these houses and they kind of like have pictures on some of these things to show you where it came from. So let me give you guys a little bit of uh, footage real fast, hold on. So they got like a, a original chandeliers from old houses. Like I don't know about this furniture and stuff like that, but it's probably original too. Like things like this, and they're letting you know where it came from, like where they got it from. But they, they literally had like original faucets back in this other area. Yeah, I just don't know right now, like a kid in the candy store right here. <laughs> I wanna buy everything. Like look at this stuff over here. I just all original stuff from some of these houses. All these little accent pieces and design. Yo. That's dope. No way. <laughs> Yo, I literally had one of these when I was a kid. No way. Oh, I don't rock as good as the one I had, but that is awesome as hell. They got two of them. I had one of these when I was a kid. Yeah, uh, I mean, it broke after a while. <laughs> but I have one. Like, that stuff, I would definitely get that from my kids. Like, definitely. And make it to where it actually rocks again, so it's fix the wood a little bit more. Yo, this place is dope as hell. Oh, I gotta hit the perimeters first. I need to go this way. Hey, look at that. You ain't getting this at Ikea. Look at that. How big that is. Oof, $1,100 price tag. And I'm just geeking out. They even got the original wood on the floor still. Like, so this is like an old warehouse. different rooms. It's, I like how they set it up even. Kind of like give you an idea of the time period, the piece. Hold on, let me wipe my camera a little bit. Ah, there we go. It's a lot better. Damn, encyclopedias. That made me feel old. I'm like bust out an encyclopedia. I remember having to do homework and you gotta look in the encyclopedia for words. Yeah, this place is dope as hell, man. Look at this. All oh, this like old reclaimed pieces of wood from houses. Like I feel like this is some type of like mantle structure. Yeah, it is. Like this is like a mantle. Hold on, let me zoom out a little bit. Probably up against a wall and like one of the, oh, it's a fireplace. So you can put this back up against your fireplace. They got an old um, truss beam in there. I would definitely use that for something. They got a few of them. Some old little office furniture. And it's not too hot, but. Damn. Yo, these chandeliers they got in here is crazy. Like, look at that one. Oof. And it's being held up by a damn crane. That's how you know that thing is heavy and original and real. Look at that old kitchen in there. Yo, this place is huge. Like, way down there. Oh, talk about a mirror.
That's definitely a mirror I would pay for. They got all these little pieces of wood and the trim. More um, staircase. That comes those are off of all old staircases. All this old wood.
Huh? Is chicken best in the freezer? You said what? Is chicken best in the freezer. What about it? You want to eat it? Yes, chicken breasts. I got two in there? Yeah. That's the older one. You that's, I believe. You this one out? No, I'm talking about that's, that's the one you should cook first if you're going to cook it. But one? No, 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 the one in the back. But we ain't got no more chicken breasts? I, I was the last one, huh? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. When are you going to leave? You got plans? No, I was asking. Okay. Anyway, anyway, guys, I'm back. About to show you guys, uh, in, definitely ending this video today. Um, it's been like two days, so I can go, oh, don't look at my beard right now. And excuse the scruffiness, but I want to basically end this video. Uh, yesterday, I was at the um, Second Chance. That was really dope. I was like really geeking out in there and uh, definitely going back there. I would definitely love to do a, um, kind of like a refurbished build one day, which would be definitely hell of expensive, but man, with all the stuff they got in there for like Victorian homes and all the different style homes, like the Tudor homes they have out here, it would be really dope. But I um, wanted to give you guys a little bit of game on like some building, some building tip, right? a building tip, if I can speak correctly for a second. So I'm gonna show you guys the bathroom remodel that we did on the, um, that we did on the, the bottom unit. So I'm gonna show you the, the full bathroom um, remodel, what I did, why I did it, and then also show you the issue that I had when I first got here in the basement and what I thought it was. And again, when you de when you um, when you demo things or when you actually just go into a project, uh, a property, never allow somebody to just tell you what they think that the issue is if they don't give you like a strong or strong evidence of what they're or what they're trying to fix. So in, 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 in straightforward terms, look at Bella, a little dog here. In straightforward terms, um, I had a leak in the basement in two areas and they both were coming from close to the um, sewer line. And so what I thought was, was that I was getting a leak in the actual sewer line. But in actuality, it was from the toilet ring and it was from a, um, a pipe behind the wall um, for the vanity sink. So essentially the reason why I wanted to share this and close the video out today this way is because one thing cost, like if, you, if I said if I just changed the toilet in here, they, but a new toilet is like $199 now at Home Depot. You can get the ones that like, we got the push button joint so you save on water and you're eco-friendly and you all that good stuff. Let's say you get a contractor or a handy person to change the toilet. That might be like, they might charge you like 150. So let's say you spend like 200 on the toilet and then like 150, I mean, I'm just saying 150, I don't know if it really costs that much, but let's just say 150 for the install. Um, you're out, what is that, around 350, 370, so if you give them a tip or something like that, as opposed to changing a whole section of a sewer line, a sewer pipe, which could cost you maybe 1500, maybe 2000, maybe 2500, depending on the plumber and how much they tell you, you know, pretty much their labor is worth or their materials are worth. So, what I'd rather do, I'm gonna show you guys the, uh, the, the bathroom here. Hold on one second. All right, so that's where, like, I'm gonna show you the top part. This, this is the, well, you can't see the ring, but if you Google a toilet ring, you'll see what it looks like. But essentially, the old toilet was shaking and rocking, and it was basically rotted out and everything like that. So that's where the leak was coming from, from under here. So under your toilet, it's a big open space, and you have like this ring right here with wax on it. So that was all gone and corroded. So that's why we had the first leak. And then back here, I can show you uh, a little bit of it, but let's see if I can get you back there. So these pipes right here are the hot water, cold water and hot water behind that one. And that's where we had the second leak. But now we don't have a leak. So like I said, we're pretty much done. I'm changing the farm, the farm door. I mean the barn door. So we got this barn door up here, but it's too big. So I have the other barn door over there. I just finished building it out real fast. So I'm gonna install that one later on. But let me show you guys the basement area and where, uh, basically where the, the leak were coming from. So again, when you're buying a property, and you know, 
My thing is always just educating people on, or just showing people, because like I said, I bought this property site unseen. Like I wasn't here. So the only thing I could do was take my knowledge and have my realtor uh, look for things that I, I wanted her to look for, not just like, oh, it's a pretty house. Like, no, I need you to look in the corners. I need to you just need you to show me if there's like water uh, stains anywhere. Um, if you hear like certain type of squeaks in the floor, there's different type of squeaking noises after you then done, done this a lot and you can kind of like notice. Sorry about the noise, you guys, I'm doing my laundry right now. You can kind of no notice a different squeak from, let's say like a squeak that's like, okay, maybe the floor joists, or maybe the, uh, the floor boards are loose or something like that. As opposed to if you feel it and it's super weak, you might have some water damage under the floor or rotting issues. Um, but anywho, I'm gonna show you guys the, uh, the, the sewer line. This is what I love out here too. But yeah, this is why I like out here so, so much because you're literally under your house and you don't have to be in a crawl space to fix anything that you need to. So essentially, if you look right here, this is my toilet. So now you can see we got a hardy back, I mean, we got a hardy backer board under there, um, which we didn't have before and it was all like, again, rotted out. But you see this, this part right here, this is all solid. And we can put some, we put some more, um, uh, basically re new, renewed everything under there. So now essentially with that, that pipe goes up to the toilet and it sits there and it has a wax ring and it has some other stuff on there. And that's, there's no leak no more. So when you flush the toilet, there is no leak anymore. But I, 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 at first I thought the leak was coming from here. I mean, I couldn't find it. So it was just, you know, trying to figure it out. And then there, over here, don't mind that wire. That's not supposed to be like that, but we're not gonna fix it right now. But over here, same thing. This is where the sink is. And I thought I had a leak under here from the, again, from the sewer line, not from the actual water line, which is behind the wall, but you can't see it. Well, actually, let me show you guys right here. So these are the water lines that go into the actual sink. So this is the hot and cold, but there's another water line that goes that way as well. And it goes up to the second unit. So, so again, if I would have just been like, not knowledgeable and I would have been like scared, like, oh my God, my my my, uh, my my sewer line is leaking. I would have had to change all of this sewer line, which eventually, I mean, it's cast iron, it's old. I mean, I would want to replace it at some point, but right now it's just not the point. Like if it's not broke, don't try to fix it, right? Because then you, also you always, you always gotta be ready for other things to happen too, especially when it's old houses. Like, let's say we would have changed that right now and then later on, I mean, uh, during changing that, like something else would have broke because all that stuff is rusted. And financially, if I'm not ready to change that stuff or I don't, I don't have the extra extra bread right now to, to change those things and be able to fix more than what I was trying to fix, then, you know, now I'm spending extra money, but, oh, I'm gonna need to keep these lights on for no reason. Keep that one down off. But yeah, um, all in all, man, it's been a good, good, been a good week, man. Like I said, yesterday went to the uh, to Second Chance, and now I know where to get some vintage stuff from. Uh, had a good conversation with, a, with a, uh, one of the advisors that works in one of the downtown partnership programs out here about buying commercial and residential properties. Um, and then everything else is just going smooth. So uh, literally today, I mean yesterday, actually, um, I didn't. Even, forgot about this right now. Yesterday, I actually got my first, I got my renter for my upstairs unit. Um, I believe she's going for it. I mean, she says she wants to She wants to uh, lock up the, the rental unit upstairs. So um, I had Stacy send her over all the information so she can send in her final documents. And we should have a renter, our first renter for this property, um, for the upstairs unit. Now she's gotta get out of the, the bottom unit and uh, get a renter in there for that one. But. Yeah, man, got my first renter uh, ready to rock and roll. Uh, what else, what else, what else? I feel like I'm rushing, but I'm just excited, man. Like, it's, it's, it's all going good with some hiccups. Like, it's never smooth sailing. Like, it's never just, oh yeah, everything came out here and everything was a breeze. Like, nah, like it ain't been smooth sailing by no, by no means at all. But um, yeah, man, I think that's pretty much it, man. That's how I'm gonna end this one. It's like I said, today it's been a really chill day. I went to the gym. I found a, finally, finally found a gym that I like. 
Um, so I got a membership finally. I was trying not to get a membership just cause I hate how gyms be trying to make it like extra, like just complicated. If you like damn near get buying a house these days for all the fees they want to charge you just to use equipment that's been used multiple times and not renew. And you not know, like they put new equipment every three months or something like that, but anyway, still, and yeah, I found a good gym and I got the rock climbing gym just in case whenever I want to go rock climbing, do a little indoor rock climbing. Um, so today I still have, I'm still doing a few more showings. Um, through the rest of the, uh, I think I like, well, today is Friday. So I think I have showings all the way up until, let me just look instead of guessing. Cause I already had them, I already had these lined up. So I still want to be able to show the unit. Cause the person, um, the new tenant, you know, uh, the one yesterday that, that said she wanted to go ahead and move here, move forward with the unit. She won't be moving until the 12th. So, yeah, I still had um, appointments all the way for showing this unit all the way to the third of next month. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish showing those and just to have backups too. You know, like I'm happy, I'm excited, but I learned in business, you definitely always make sure you have backups, no matter what you're doing, no matter who you're booking. If I have contractors come by, I have three or four. If I have uh, a property management company that I wanna work with, I have two or three. Um, if I'm even more renters, if I have renters I'm looking at, I have make sure I have like 10 of them, you know, that way, again, I'm not relying on one or two people to go ahead and keep their word and be a good renter and all that other good stuff. And also too, for future references, like everybody that's been replying to me and they had like um, pretty good profiles, but it just didn't, it's not where I wanted to sit at for this space. I'll definitely keep them on file and hit them up when I, when I have other units, you know? And I always keep my database big, you know? Always, always, always. Cause like I said, the East Coast people are renters for life out here, a lot of people. So um, that's another big reason why I came out here in this market is because I saw that it a, has a very big, strong renters market. Um, because that's just what it, you know, it calls for. Like a lot of people don't, I think the amount, of, the amount of people that I know that are just buying properties or just like getting into a house in their late 30s out here is like a lot. So a lot of people lived in apartments or condos and whatever have you. So, but yeah, guys, uh, like I said, I wanted to get that little game out, man. When you're looking, when you're looking at properties, you know, and this is just for the people that are like looking at properties to actually purchase, and um, it could be your own house, it could be a, um, it could be a, um, a rental property. Definitely never go with the first person that says something, you know, not unless you know them, you know, like if you have a home inspector or you have a contractor that you work with a lot, because again, paying for that, that sewer line could have cost me up to like $2,500, probably even a little bit more, honestly, because of the um, material these days and still having like the supply shortage and all that stuff. So again, I knew I was getting the bathroom done, so I just waited, you know, I put a few buckets down there, catch the little water leaks, because it wasn't a lot at all. I was like, let me just wait until it's actually open up some walls and see exactly what's going on because I already knew that the toilet was old and I knew that it had a little bit of a rock in the toilet. So if I know the toilet's unstable, I'm guessing that the, the wax ring on the toilet is not gonna be in good standing either. So, you know, that was the one, one, of, the one, one of the reasons why I, was like, I wasn't just rushed or panicked to try to fix that whole sewer line pipe. And then for two, I was looking at them like, okay, well, if I have a leak in the sink, but I don't have an actual, like, um, any damage to the actual wall in the bathroom, then I know I'm doing pretty good. And again, when I do the demo here on, in the whole bathroom, we'll be able to find that, actually where it's coming from, and probably just change that section of the piping or whatever have you. So, um, like I said, I just wanted to get that little bit of the game out. You know, and go ahead and uh, put that in your roller decks. But again, when you're looking at your next property, and let's say you have a few little leaking issues, you shouldn't think like, "Oh man, this is a, you know, it's too much work," because um, it could just be a little bit of an issue. Like again, replacing a toilet or replacing a pipe under a sink. But as always, guys, if this is not your first time, if it is your first time, and you haven't hit that like, share, subscribe button or that post notification button, please do so. Support my channel. I'm definitely giving out more free game more content always, always, always on real estate, on life, um, and just my full journey. 
and to the people that do have subscribed and, and do support my channel i appreciate you guys uh like i said i'm definitely still building up a or in the in action process action steps of building up a uh investment pool so if you don't know how to invest in real estate and you want to invest in real estate you know that with me i have the the know-how and the background of a contractor and the design and build um company owner and have, have had multiple um, properties in my family for a long time. And then like, I also have my own STR business and my own now multi-family business, um, uh, real estate business in a whole other state. Definitely going multi-state. So not just LA, not just Maryland, not just DC or Virginia, but statewide, I mean, no, nationwide. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and run them numbers up fine. Let's get my Insta, I mean, let's get my YouTube channel up to like a thousand likes, a thousand subscribers, that whole nonsense. And eventually I'll start giving stuff away for free, like this stuff, you know, I'm to home decor. So um, I'm not gonna tell y'all where I found some good stuff at for home decor, but you know, if I get up to a thousand likes by let's say the middle of next month, I'm definitely gonna do a free giveaway. It might be like some small items for home decor stuff. It might be some big items, who knows? But anyway, tell somebody, you tell tell a friend to tell a friend about my channel. Hit that like, share, subscribe button, hit that post notification button. Until next time, your boy is out.